Hi everybody, it's Shauna and today I'm coming to you with my video for the Summer Besties tag. I know summer is almost over, fall officially begins on um, September 23rd and I'm a little behind but still have some time left so I'm going to go ahead and get it out. I was tagged by Nikia of Silver Lips Beauty per usual. So I'm just going to get right into it. <clears throat> Gotta put the question, sorry. Number one, um, so okay, I'm sorry, for those who don't know, the Summer Besties tag is all about what were my favorite products or what are my favorite products to use for the summer. So the first question is lip products. For me, this summer was all about um, having moisturized lips. I suffer from dry lips, so I try to keep them moisturized as much as possible. So, of course, I have my handy dandy EOS lip series. I just got this one, so it's not open yet. Um, but I have all of them. So, those were key. Just pop them in my bag. Um, also, my trusty Smith's Rosebud, Rosebud Salve. <clears throat> and also, the Ruby Kisses Menthol Lip Salvation. They also have another one. It's like a tinted one. It's somewhere. I can't see it right now, but um, I prefer the menthol one over the tinted one. <clears throat> and lastly, my e.l.f. Super Glossy Lip Gloss in Goddess, which is what I have on right now. Y'all yeah, know I'm all about my nudes and pink lips, and this just feels really soothing on the lip. It's not overly greasy or oily. It just feels like you have maybe lotion on your lips. Very soothing, very moisturizing. <clears throat> so that was it for me. I didn't really do too many colors or anything outreach on my lips for the summer. Question number two, blush. This summer, um, from spring into summer, I was all about Max Instant Chic Blush, which is a matte, peachy, um, pinky color. I put it on this morning, but you can see I'm shiny and everything, so it probably is not showing up. But that's what it looks like. And then when I swatch it on my skin, you can see. And it may appear chalky, but as long as you blend it in well, it looks really nice on women of color. The other blush product that I was in love with were the Milani Baked Powder Blushes. And the one that I reached for more than the others was the Rose de Oro or the number two. And this is what it looks like. On my finger and on my skin has a shimmer to it, but not overtly so when you blend it in. <clears throat> Question number three, nail polish or products. For me this summer, I didn't really experiment too much with um, nail polish colors. I was all about the orange family. No one in particular, I just was into oranges this summer as well as nudes. So there's a gray, like a taupe and a brown. No rhyme or reason, just that was just what I was into. Um, I was into trying different nail shapes. So this is what's going on now. Like a modified talon look. Um, but at one point they were like serious talons with the very sharp tips. Um, and my mother was like, you're scaring me with those nails, but I wanted to try it. It was okay. I'm a, usually a square nails kind of girl, and these are all broken off. My right hand always breaks off. But I just wanted to try something different because I've had square nails for years now. So I tried it, and I did it for most of the summer, but now it's time for me to go back to my comfort zone. So I will have square nails. If not tomorrow, it will be by this weekend. <clears throat> okay, the next question is liquid face makeup. You all know my trusty NARS Macau is what I used when I used 
face makeup that's what I used um, it was my go-to foundation for the summer <clears throat> the next question powder face makeup I was all about my Ben Nye neutral set colorless face powder and I used it mostly just to take off the excess oil from my face not necessarily to add color because I was tan so I didn't really need to add color um, and I didn't really wear that much foundation so that was good enough for me um, hair product question number six um, I, as you all know I did the freeform challenge this summer so I didn't do too much in the way of hair but um, I was using natural oasis um, herbal styling oil um, that was after I ran out of olive oil um, I also used a lot of aloe vera gel and um, not a lot of but I would use it like to tame my edges or I would use it to set my hair when I ran out of mousse and the mousse I was using was like a I think it was a Pantene mousse I don't remember like what formulation or whatever and I would set it because I wasn't retwisting it I needed it to look somewhat you know neat so I would set my hair on perm rods and I wouldn't sit under the dryer I would just leave them in for like a couple of days like over the weekend if I didn't have anywhere to go um, or overnight and then just like leave it in the curl and then once it dried I could like loosen it up a bit so that came in handy and covered up my new growth so that was it for the hair product next one eye product I didn't really wear too much makeup on my eyes this summer if I did you know, know I usually do like a smoked out look some variation of a smoky eye um, but for me it was more about my brows and if I did anything at most I would do liner so Maybelline eye studio gel liner in black is black along with my Sonia Kashuk bent eyeliner brush were my two like super duper used eye products um, if I did do an eye look I would use my NARS modern love palette and I would use that's not the modern love palette this is the modern love palette and I would use the black color which is Pandora and I use that for mostly all my smoky looks um, but for the most part it was about a manicured brow for me all summer even if you don't wear anything as long as your brows look good you can pop on a gloss and some glasses and you'd be good so um, for a good part of the summer I used the Senna former brow kit I'm now using something else but I might switch back um, along with my little concealer brush and my black opal foundation stick in heavenly honey those were my key um, eye products the next question we have is tanning product no such thing for me sunscreen no one in particular just something with the SPF it could be in the form of a lotion that was it no tanning products over here um, accessories I was all 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 about statement earrings here's another pair yes they are earrings they look like coasters but they're not they're earrings <laughs> made by the same person that made these um, and these like the bigger the better the earrings I was all about that I actually made these feather ones um, statement earrings and shades no particular brand or style any kind of shade to block out the excessive sun that was present this summer I would rock it and I also did little nerd glasses see this one I lost the lens they're broken but I have another pair a <laughs> place and pair of these so shades oh here's another lens right here um shades and statement earrings um and the last question is clothing maxi dresses hands down uh, strapless maxi dresses 
uh, racerback maxi dresses, tank top maxi dresses, you name it. I was rocking the maxi dress all summer long. My fiance was saying I have my, uh, well, he would say that the basketball wives <laughs> had on Shauna dresses because I love maxi dresses and I love maxi dresses for like wherever. They're so effortless and you just throw them on, you just go. You put on a pair of flip flops, you put on a pair of heels, it don't matter. It works, it looks cute. I even have some for the winter, like long sleeve ones. I'm all about a maxi dress with a boot. Nasty. But that's it for the summer besties tag. Um, and now I tag you if you want to do it. Knock yourself out. Post it as a video response if you want. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.